Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, it is Fear the Walking Dead time. We are going to be taking a look at Season 7, Episode 13, The Raft. Can't count today. Now, Episode 12 was a hell of an episode, guys. Everybody had nothing but really good That's stuff bad. to say about that. I liked it. Diamond Dave liked it. The only question is, can they keep the momentum going? Yep, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we did have a little nitpicks, which some of you called out. I know you guys said some of our complaining was worse than the show, but hey, get some better writing. We're not the only reactors that think this isn't the greatest thing on planet Earth right now. But that's okay, because guess what? We're coming in positive on this one. So let's go! All right, what do we got here? I think something that said emergency on it. Looks like a concrete bollard, though, or something. That's sh Sherry starting us off here. Oh, Sherry. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can take the mask off now. We're all clear. Oh! All those episodes watching Survivor Man paid off. Is she thinking about just making a float for it? I, don't know I mean, she's got here. a bunch of supplies there. Not really a hey, bad idea. Honey, where the hell are you? Hey, what is it, D? You left without waking me up. You needed the sleep. Uh, okay, where, where are you? Something. I'm on a supply run. I remember we never hit up that warehouse. No, you're not. You're lying. Okay, well, I got something. We got an SOS. Some lady uh, got herself turned around down near the inlet. Well, you, you shouldn't go out on your own, D. Kind of like you did this morning. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can handle it. <laughs> These two are a married couple, and I don't... Did she fight? I don't know. I didn't ask her resume. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Who's our no, new no. character going to be? Yeah, yeah. They are, you... Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Headshots off a horse. Don't... I'm out! It's radiated! Don't let it touch you! We'll throw it. Wait. Blood, oh. folks? The blood? Away. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna stop talking about you know blood splatter and mm, radiation. <laughs> we've we've come to the point where it doesn't matter. So let's just roll with it. Amaya, well you're good here, but you really should wear that when you're on the move. I don't understand. It's what I was talking to you about on the walkie, the air quality and <laughs> that thing. I came out on a boat looking for my kid. How far does the fallout go? I have no idea. I was on the boat for days. When was the last time that you saw him? A few months ago. All right, I'm intrigued. You're from the tower? <laughs> no. <laughs> I heard the message inviting people to join. Maybe that's where they took Marco. Look, there's bad blood, okay, between us and the man in charge. But that shouldn't keep you from going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dwight's got a point. Yeah. You know, he's not making her choose a side. Right. Which is the right thing to do in this case, so yeah. bravo, Dwight. What the hell, D? Come on, Cherry. Do, the, do these guys agree about anything? No. Uh, she's better off with Strange, you know that. We are about to go to war with him. You think we're going to lose? Uh, we're out, man. Yeah, outgunned. It's just us. I wish it wasn't like this. I'm coming in hot. I'm going to need a handoff. <laughs> <laughs> coming in hot. <laughs> What, what do you mean by handoff? You need us to take Mo? Some of the walkers from Strand's moat broke off and started following me. How many? It's all of them. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Use them to your advantage yeah. then. Yeah. Kind of a homage to to Rick. Yeah. Oh, well, gosh, Rick. Season six. Yeah. All right. Well. Last couple of title cards. <laughs> Are we losing Dwight and Sherry then? The last couple of title cards haven't uh, gone too well for whoever's mm -hmm. been featured here. No, they're by that raft though. Did I mess up back there? With our code, send Amaya to the tower. The exact opposite of what you wanted me to do with Mickey. Yeah, but Mickey could hold her own out here. We need to get Mickey back, by the way. Yeah, it would be great to see Mickey back. I think they're just gonna sprinkle her in. Mm. You, you wanted it too, to but, let life happen, have a family. But if we don't take the tower, are we going to be able to have any of that? Well, you could go north. Yeah, maybe take the horses and leave. 
You know, Morgan and Dwight should both know how to use those walkers to their advantage. They should. Because they did it before. Crispy one. Yeah, Morgan was part of the, in season six, where Rick had that all set up Mm -hmm. for Alexandria before it went to shit. Got her back. Mr. Dory did. He gave his life so that she could escape. Oh, they didn't know. That's right. Ugh. How'd you pick up so many walkers? Some of them started following me just after Mr. Dory handed Mo off. You wanted them to follow you? Yeah. Strands felt safe in that tower because of the walkers around it. But until tonight, when he can try and draw some more in with that light of his. We can get in. Yeah. Oh, who we got here? This has to be Strands Peeps. We've got to keep them together. We get her further away than I can and faster. We've got to keep her away from Strange. She should be with her dad. She should be with whoever can keep her safe right now. That's actually a good point. Hey, stay on me! On me! Look at all yeah, of those. Yeah, they are cooked, man. All right, I'm, I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to get out of our way. You got a code. Oh, is that Wes? What do you know about our code? Yeah. Ah, it's the only guy with any sense. We'll shoot. I don't think you will. Do you really care about protecting Strand? No, I care about surviving. Do you help us take down the tower? We'll but pretend like you never even left. He's already in the tower. <laughs> Trying to be someone's right-hand man, doing what you needed to do to protect your own. Like, I get it. Yes, sir. It turns out you all don't even believe in the bullshit you preach. What's going on with Derek when I found him? Ooh. I'm telling you, man, Wes is making so much sense. <laughs> Good job, Sherry. Take a minute. Think about what I said. Man, Wes, just leave all these fools. Yeah. Go on your own, dude. You got a horse. Yeah, Wes, just just start go heading north. north. Just go north, Wes. You know what's going to happen. Just people are going to lose their lives. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What do they got? Missile launchers? Grenades? Who are you? <laughs> that was me. What? Why? Oh, to to draw keep on. them from tearing you apart? No. Oh, oh! You just sent me back, Alicia. <laughs> found what you were looking for? I found the transmitter. You didn't find that girl, did you? What, the one you told me helped you on the sub? No, I did not. I need the generators to power this. We don't have time for that. Luciana brought in all those people. Yours, the rest of ours, and them, that's enough. It's not. It's not even close. Can't keep waiting. I had to make a call. Keep coming! You know, yeah, to, I, go for it. Yeah, I say, to Alicia's point about needing more people, I mean, they probably do, but where are they going to get them from? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I was just going to say. I truly still believe that this war is not going to happen. Mm. <laughs> is it the air fresheners? What the hell is that? I call it an automobile. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's Bogdan's there we go. car wash. <laughs> I'm trying to keep us alive here. Yeah, I'm trying to show her a reason to stay alive. It's just hard for me to see you with her like this. Laughing and smiling and making dad jokes. Why? <laughs> because, D. We're not going to have that. Okay. So. Well, you just want to give up? You want to go strand? No, it's not or... what I'm saying. It's just not. <laughs> you want to go a strand? Or, you know, <laughs> back to Alexandria? I don't know. We're on our way, and chances are we're not alone. The engineering compartment is starting to leak radiation. Oh. We're in the middle of an evacuation. That was like their one Great. safe spot. Yeah. I'll take that. Get no, me. I got it. No, you get, get her. No, Why? Why? What's in this? What is it? Bunch of maps. Oh. She was planning her escape. Navigation charts. I was getting the uh, emergency raft. You're going to leave after all this? No. If the raft wasn't for me, it was for you. No. Kind of the same outcome, isn't it? I don't want you to turn into the person that you don't want to be. We've been over this before, okay? Yes, we have. <laughs> yeah, really, we're doing this again with Sherry? Uh, okay, try not to complain. Try not to complain. I know, but it's like we're right back to where we started with these two. I thought they ironed it all out. They did. <laughs> They're just not meant to be together. Guys, drop a comment what you think. We've got a half a dozen more rangers on their way. Just send her over. If we hand her over, can we still take you up on Strange Deal? I'm sure to help your case. Why? What? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and be a better person if you don't even think I can. <laughs> oh shit. <geez. laughs> hey, you know what? I kinda don't blame him at this point. I mean, with Sherry, the way they're writing her, they keep bringing this up. She, she keep... has a problem every single time with something like yeah. this happens. She keeps wanting to leave too. Oh, uh, 
yep, Dwight's going to sucker him in and you think? Yep, punch him right here. <laughs> I'm like, nah. <laughs> so wrong. Day! How do you go? I mean, seriously, Wes. I mean, come on. Come on, Wes. Same team. Same team. <laughs> not really, but. Well, still, I mean, I mean, it's not like Dwight ever did anything bad to Wes. So it's like, why are you taking it so personal? Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I get it because Strand, I want to stay in the tower. So I get that part peeps. But I don't know. You think there would be like a moment of where Wes would be like, hey, Dwight, do we really have to. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> we really got to do this. Where are you taking me? Dwight and Sherry said there's a crater that's got a bunch of them already trapped in it, so... Strand's gonna come after you hard for doing this to the tower. Yeah, he already is. Which is why we gotta move <laughs> now. Are we forgetting, Alicia, that you're the one who claimed we're going to the war. war? Yeah, it was all her. Morgan, listen. We don't have much time. If this works, I need you to take Mo and get away from here. As far away from Strand and this tower as humanly possible. Even if it means leaving without me. It's the only way to make sure that Mo is safe. So if we don't get that tower tonight... You're gonna do it. If I can even find a way out of here, yes, I am. I left some folks I cared about once before, uh, and it has never sat right with me. Totally Rick yep. that he's referring to. And if you can take the tower tonight, you won't have to go anywhere. It's more vulnerable than it's ever been. So wait, the alternative is get the tower, me and baby stay, me and baby Mo stay. If we don't get the tower, me and baby it Mo leaves. gotta go. Yeah. There you are. Why'd you stop? Where's Wes? Where's Wes? Yeah. Must have won the fight, I guess. Where's Wes? Oh, he's still out there. I just slowed him down. We're good for here, but we can't go any further. How's she doing? She has no idea. <laughs> that I mean, seriously, there's nowhere else in the United States you guys could go. <laughs> you gotta stay here. I'm sorry for what I said earlier. It's complicated. Why don't you just tell me what's going on, huh? Yeah, a little honesty, Cher. Franklin. Hey, does anybody know where that bunker is? Uh, the one Teddy locked up Alicia in? The bunker is underneath the Franklin Hotel. Why? No, Al Alicia, is there another way out? That's the drainage where it's on the north end. I mean, it's really your only chance. You got rangers coming up on you. Hey, man, we should go through the crater. That way we can stay ahead of them. No, the readings, they're way too high. I know. We, we have our gas mask. We'll be protected. And Morgan said that thing's lined with lead. Hers might be, but ours aren't. Okay, then she'll be protected. That's all that matters it's, right now. It's, it's not. What are you talking I, about, huh? I'm just for, for, First you think I'm, I'm going to bail, and now you won't even do what we need to do to keep her safe. I think I might be pregnant. I knew that was coming. Oh, I knew oh, that was coming. I was waiting for it. Yeah, Dwighty boy. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. I'll give her a pass now on all the, the weirdness that was going on. I'm having an attitude. Good for you, Sherry. And Big D. You know, now that every time someone has a baby or is pregnant, I'm just like, Lori, Lori death. Yeah. Lori death. How, how long do you think it's been? A couple weeks. We'll find your test. I already took a test. I haven't looked at it yet. You haven't looked? I mean, honestly, though, I want to ask the ladies in the comments, would there be anything more terrifying than being pregnant in the apocalypse? <laughs> Drop a comment below. <laughs> You're gonna wanna do what's best for her. Even if that means going into Strand's tower, it will destroy all the parts of you that I love. No, all the, the parts that are gonna make you a great father. Ah, Strand's not Negan like that though, I don't think. You know, I want our child to know you. Not the person that Strand would turn you into. She does kind of have a point because we have seen basically a zero tolerance for Strand when yeah, well, you get tossed. That's true. Can of beans, you're out of here. I thought you said the crater is filled with walkers. Nope. Oh, they're gone. Somebody let them out. Oh, see, so yeah, there's a ramp. Right, Cherry? Crater's in. Oh, there's Alicia's. Oh, uh, yeah. What do, you, what do you say? They're still looking for a place to dump the walkers. I'm so bailing on this whole plan. Can you clear it? Yeah, I think so. How loud do you think the fire alarm is in a place like this? Pretty loud. Why? Do you think they could hear hey, us? Hey, that's the same oh. tunnel. Yeah. She could draw them in. Get digging. What the hell? Oh. I didn't think he said find it at first. I thought he said something else. <laughs> Dude, what a... 
attitude change in just one and a half episodes yeah, know, for, for Wes, Wes yeah. like full turn. I mean, I was full on Team Wes before because I thought he just wanted to get out. Uh, it doesn't seem very stable, though. I was just gonna say, what do you know? What do you think happens in every <laughs> every movie when you see a little dust? Yeah, and things are falling. Hey, have you made it to the tunnel yet? Have you reached the tunnel? The signal won't reach down there. I was just gonna say, <laughs> come on, Morgan. <laughs> you know. <laughs> come on, nah, we're gonna lose these jabrones. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, from behind, <laughs> getting them. <laughs> Uh, this, oh. ain't, this ain't gonna work. Come on, Wes. You're being a jerk, but I'm still pulling for you. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I'm sorry, too. We're not gonna lose all three of them, are we? <laughs> How brutal would that be? <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, I feel like they're kind of doing a reboot because Madison's coming into play, but... Maybe Wes will save the day. Change of heart? Maybe. Could happen. You know, because he was up against that wall with the water, having some emotions there. I don't want to do that right now. Who uh, would help me? Survey says. Boom. That would mean yes. You are okay, the so father. There's, there's no way they're taking out two babies. <laughs> and these two. Two stars. I'm thinking Wes is going to save the day. All right, it's not going to. It's not going to end like this. We're going to get out of here. The same way as before. We dig. Yeah, just grab them, put them behind you. I mean, it might take a while, but you ain't got nowhere to be. That's going to take a while. The babies on The Walking Dead are some of the calmest babies you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. I could have come back sooner because I know what I might have to do to strand, and I'm not sure I can. Hear that? Hey, mate. After it. a little while of digging. Yeah. Pushing through. Let me all right? I got it. Tunnel collapsed. She gonna show her it. The, uh, yep, yep. Reminder, Alicia, of who she I was. Ah, uh, so I wonder if that's like, we have Alicia all put together now. She's got her weapon she back. Keep... This yeah. is how we're gonna take her out. Well, send her on a big goodbye with everything. <laughs> she she didn't want it, so. Her sub's a no go. Leaking radiation. That woman, that mom. She said she heard Strand's message all the way from the water. 20 miles out. I mean, Strand's got to have an antenna for that type of range. So the tower, I could use the transmitter from there. Strand's got power, and it's the highest point for miles around and with the ULS range. I got to do what Alicia, what Grace asked me to do, and get Mo as far away from here as possible. I know a way. Morgan was just trying to get him to do the battle. Now he's like, ah, I got to bail. The fallout could hug the coast for hundreds of miles. But that woman that we sent to Strand, she came from someplace clean. And what if I can't find it? Can't do this. Can't walk away just as you're about to face him. What did I miss? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I'm super confused. We got to take the tower right now, Dave. Wait, no, I got to leave. No, we got to take the tower. I got to leave. I'm going to be okay. I can't do this. No go. Maybe he's out there floating around, finds a community, or finds whoever Madison's with. He can't use this against us, but we can use it against him, because now we have something to fight for. Guess our lives yeah. don't count. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Both of you. You doing all right over there? You have to fight for it. <laughs> Look at poor Daniel over there all confused. And that was how the next spinoff of the Walking Dead universe started. We gotta move. Sun sets in a few hours. Follow me. All right, so it's finally going to happen. But <laughs> did they load it up with formula? That's what I want to know. Yeah. I didn't see any formula. I'm just saying. Yeah. Moe's not going to like those uh, little biscuits they give you on them rafts. 
<laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> wow, Diamond Dave, I uh, got a lot of confused emotions on this one, as I'm sure a lot of you do. Uh, first off, we saw Dwight and Sherry, who didn't look like they had any business being together. Uh, nothing That's but them, arguments. Though. They've been like the whole that a little episode. bit. Yeah, they have. Uh, we found out that Sherry was planning an escape for Dwight in the raft because she was worried about being pregnant. Um, I don't know. I guess if it was me, I would have thought, uh, hey, honey, I'm pregnant. Uh, maybe we should keep going south, maybe to Mexico or... You know, I hear it's nice down there this time of the year, but uh, we saw Morgan who, again, you know, a lot of different sides of Morgan that I feel like we're kind of going around a little bit on him. First, he's hell bent on sneaking into the tower, taking care taking of Strand, the motorway, yep, taking getting rid the of the motorway. Mo you know, full on battle, Morgan. And then, I, I, guys, I don't know if I missed something, but, but <sighs> then all of a sudden he he's going to leave with Mo and, and do what's best for her. Uh, thinking that he's taking the one little piece that Strand has. Six o'clock. To get out <laughs> of there. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm done. I gotta take baby Mo and go now at yeah, six o'clock. get out of here. Sorry, Alicia. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that was strange that, you know, Morgan had the big send off. And I think there's a chance he might find Madison, maybe. Uh, we don't know if Madison's with CRM or some New other group. group out there. We don't know. So I'd say that would be a good way to uh, to introduce her. And again, our our tiny group of heroes on Alicia's side is going to go to battle. And I don't know about you guys, but every time Alicia tries to do something, she gets a lot of people killed. Um, so again, this was a, a bit of a, I hate to say a world building episode, but it kind of was because it was kind of setting a lot of things up in motion here for what we're going to be doing going forward. Obviously, we didn't see anything on a strand in the tower, but... The sub is no good. That's junk. So there's no safe place there. That's things leaking radiation all over. So our crew is going to have to make a run for something. And I, I'm with you, Dave. I don't think that the war is going to happen. I, I just don't see it. Both sides have nothing and they're fighting over scraps. <laughs> Again, Wes, you were going to be my man. You were going to get out of there. You're going to have some sense on this show. And there's still a chance you might because they didn't show them getting taken out in the, uh, in the bunker. So... Nope. curious to see what happens to him well and then we also saw him in the preview too we did watch the preview a little bit there but i'm gonna try to stay 100 positive as much as possible here uh i'm just gonna go right into the the not even a nitpick confusion with what you just said about morgan i i'm pretty sure that made the cut folks of like all of a sudden morgan like mason quinn was saying you know we gotta take this tower it has to happen tonight mm -hmm. yeah. and then i really feel like I missed something or I checked out for like five minutes <laughs> because all of a sudden oh, I, I got to take Mo and we got to leave. I'm definitely going to go back and rewatch this episode because there's just, I'm, there's just some things that I need to go back and understand and stuff maybe just and things. stuff and things. I got things, Lori. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'm just going to go back and watch it again. I came and make a good comment or bad comment on it. Yeah, it was, because it was, a bit I, strange. It was just, it felt like I just got slapped and like, what just happened? <laughs> what, what, the, what, what rash decision, decision is this right now? But um, I get it. Now, I will say I, I am still very doubtful this war happens. War. I think it's more of them taking stuff out that makes the tower this... Kind of like a surgical attack. They go in, they yeah. take out some key pieces. I don't think we're going to see full-scale uh, survivors or saviors versus Rick's crew like we had before. No, this is just going to be wild, wild west. Let's pray that we don't take the tower out while taking Strand out. That's the vibe I get. Um, and, didn't, with, and sorry, but didn't anybody tell Alicia that Daniel's whole plan was to go in there and do it himself? No. We had zero mention of that. Alicia's just going to lead everybody off to their death. That's a good call out right there. Yeah, no one has mentioned that. We didn't get any catch up on that. I, I don't know if the, the writers are assuming that we should think communications have happened because, guys, you gotta you guys got to show us that kind give of me, stuff. Gotta give me something. Uh, otherwise, we all know the big news came out last week with uh, Alicia getting the uh, getting the lead in the new show congrats to her i'm sure she'll crush it over there which obviously uh a lot of unknowns right now uh if you haven't read any spoilers which i don't think there's any spoilers out currently which hopefully there won't be uh i do my prediction 
is I do think she's leaving the show because, again, we have said, I believe it was early season, start of season seven, we read the article where Alicia herself said she would like to take on new projects, so I think she's sayonara gone. I hope, though, we don't see her gone and they just leave the door open like they did with Maggie. Yeah. Lord, Lori, uh, Lauren Cohen. Yep. Yeah. So that way, if they do want to bring her back, get a reunion going before yeah, a big send off, that would be awesome. So, you, you know, that is a good point. You know, you don't necessarily have to 86 a character just to write them off. They can mm -hmm. just go for a while and then and then come back and it gives you more options, at, you know, as writers. So yeah. that's a very good point. Just imagine if they would have done that to Lauren and said, all right, you know, you're leaving when Rick leaves, but we're going to kind of take you out. Yeah. You know, and then. <laughs> Can you imagine what season 11 would have been without yeah, Maggie? Yeah, they would have painted themselves into a corner. Yeah, Maggie, Negan, and Lance, <laughs> MVP of the main show oh, right there. Uh, but also, not a bad episode. Again, I, I maybe I'm just hinging on, let's just get to some of this action. Let's get it going here. I'm not hoping for Madison in any of these episodes yet. My total banking is on that last episode. I think a lot of you are thinking that too where it's probably just an end, like, two oh, minutes. Maybe a post-credits, like they did with Morgan that one time when he brought the mask up and we, yep. we saw him. Could be that, too. Otherwise, not a bad episode. I feel like they, they got close to a potential war here, but I don't know. And, folks, I was dying laughing there at the end because... You were. <laughs> real quick, let me explain myself here. Most of you probably won't even see this. They'll probably have some comment in there. Dave's an idiot. He's laughing, yada, yada, yada. But for those of you who stuck around for this... <laughs> I mean, seriously, with Sherry and Dwight, now we got something to fight now, for. <laughs> now we do. Our, our lives, friends. Our lives and our friends meant Not nothing. <laughs> we got a kid on the way. Uh, and huge congrats, because I, I do find that interesting now with what they're in. Uh, given oh, how fear has been, uh, again, and I don't know if this made the cut, I do, anytime we see a pregnancy now or anyone with a baby, my mind automatically goes to a Lori death because until that actually happens, my, my mind is like, they're setting it up. They're yeah. just trying to tee it up. The Lori comic book death. Yes. You're referring to Lori comic book death. So it probably won't happen, but in my head, it's going to happen. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so that's all I got. I don't even know. Again, I did. It's just. It's just funny. Oh, man. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, guys. Hey, it's another episode of Fear for Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine, and we're going to see you on the next one. Not giving up. Not giving up. I'm not leaving. <laughs>